Good morning, welcome aboard the Carnival Jubilee for day five here in Costa Maya. Today we're gonna be doing a Segway and Beach Day Tour through the cruise line. So it's gonna be a shore excursion, which is always fun. I love Segways, as you may know, you may have seen in the past, I do enjoy riding them. So this will be fun. We'll see what Costa Maya is all about while on a Segway. Now, of course, normally, for those of you know, I normally run off of this camera right here that is pretty massive, but don't worry. Uh, for less annoyance, we have one of these babies that we're gonna be carrying throughout the rest of the day. So we're gonna go ahead and swamp out, and I'll see you down there. Jubilee, we'll see you real soon. Welcome to Coast of My. This ramp is too steep Good for me morning. to stop. But we've made it. We have an excursion today. We're on our way to meet up. Coast of My, it's been a while since the last time I've been here, but this is definitely a port that it seems like a good idea to get on a vehicle and go explore. So, segways, what a great way to do it. It will be a tour. And then also, the beach, of course. You're in Mexico, you have to go to the beach. So we'll see, let's go. After a long walk, we've made it to the port area, which is actually fully built out, but we have a pre-booked tour, so we're gonna head over to our shore excursions. We'll come back later. And here we are to our excursions. And there's a whole bunch of lists of different things. Segway, here we go. Now it's time to wait. It's a bit loud here, but it's better to let you know what we're gonna do today. We start the activity here. From here we walk, to the parking lot area around the corner. Carlos, the driver, is waiting for me. Actually, that Carlos, this Carlos, he's gonna take us in an open truck to Mahawal. Mahawal is the name of downtown. It's located 10, 15 minutes away from here. That's why we use the open truck, because the ride is too short and the view is gonna be better. Okay? Provide to you safety gear, knee pads, elbow pads, helmets. That's mandatory for everybody. And after that, I'll show you how to use the Segway. We practice one-on-one -on -one with everybody to make you feel secure on that. Segway is very easy to ride. When everybody practice, and as soon as everybody feel ready, we do the Segway activity. During that time, we have a few stops in downtown. It's allowed to do shopping. It's gonna be allowed to take pictures of you on your Segway. The main reason of this stop is because after a while, we're gonna feel, uh, we're gonna feel the bottom of the feet kind of tingling or tired. So we must take a break, okay? Two stops, after that, uh, uh, after the second stop, we go straight to the light, uh, to the beach club, where we're gonna get access to all the beach facilities. Drinks, food, or massage, they are not included. But you have enough time to buy something to drink or something to eat, okay? I'll let you know how long time we're gonna spend over there. It could be 40, 50, 60 minutes. At the end of the beach time, we bring you back here. We're gonna end the activity here at 1.30. That's okay for you? See? Muy bien, pues vámonos. Alrighty, we signed in, we signed our life away, and now we're gonna take a truck to the area where we're gonna meet up with the uh, Segway. So it's not actually here, we don't start here. We're gonna start down a ways a little bit. So I guess for now, we get to enjoy a quick scenic drive. Got here, got all suited up. We have to wear knee pads and shoulder pads. Not shoulder pads, what are these pads? Elbow pads. Elbow pads. It's an elbow over there, not a nose, it's an elbow. Yeah, <laughs> so extra safe here than other places. But that's okay, I guess. Just a little annoying to wear, but we'll be fine. Now we're gonna learn how to drive a Segway, for those of us that don't know how. We've done this a few times, but. Be good. Yep, but do I look good? <laughs> eh, but will I feel good? Yes. Something very important. Don't pull or push the handlebar. This is only to keep the balance. Or if we need to go to the right or the left, we slide the handlebar to the sideways. We don't twist like a bicycle, okay? We slide to the right or to the, or to the left and the segue move to the sideways. To go forward, to stop, it's all about your balance. Lean your body forward, lean your body back. Right here, if something like, we are like this, we press with the toes, we press with the heels. That's all we need to do, guys. That's because right here, we have two of these on each side. At the moment we lean forward with the toes, 
we press the ones in the front and the set we move. When we press with the heels, set we stop. Okay? One more time. I'm going to repeat a lot this. Don't pull, don't push. Again. Okay? It's like we get on the segway, stand straight, relax. Don't be like this, okay? Just relax. We need to go to the right or to the left. Right, left. Don't make quick movement because segway is very sensitive. We need to go forward. Lean forward. Lean back. Faster. Slow down. That's all we need to do, guys. Don't do this, okay? Now, I want to ask you something, uh, something very, very important. Uh, first, I want to apologize because I did introduce to, to my co-workers. Isabel, Bianca, they are the, they are the rest of the, of the crew, okay? They're gonna be with us. Wait for the ladies or wait for me to hold the segue at the moment you get on or get off, okay? The proper way to get on, I recommend to you hold clear one step at a time. Don't do this, but if you do it, that's okay. That, that happens to everybody. Trust in the segue, just hold it. Fit position right in the middle, stand up, grab here. To step off, hold here, one big step in one move. Don't slide your feet. If I do this, the segue move backwards very easy. So, we need to do a complete stop, big step, without pulling, without pushing. We ask it to wait for us because sometimes we try to step off very quickly. We do something like this, the segue move to the sideways very, very easy, okay? So please, wait for us. We're gonna be right next to you during the whole tour, guys. Ten. Ten. We have one at home, the small one too. I have, I have one. Yeah. Similar. You've done it before? Too? Yep. Fifth position, that one. A little bit more in front. Muy bien. Uh, remember all the time, body straight, look ahead and keep your distance all the time, okay? Okay, thank you. Do a couple of rounds here and then when we feel ready. Alrighty, we're on. A little more secure and safety oriented on this one than the others, but that's fine. But hey, that's okay. Safety is the number one thing, right? But certainly if you've seen my other videos in Intonata, I've done this a few times, kind of familiar with it. And uh, we miss Gil, who's uh, a lot more liberal on certain things, but maybe that's not so good. But he doesn't have accents either. So for now, we're just gonna be spinning around, doing laps, trying to get used to things. Remember how to do it, Dad? You had a little rocky start there, you know. Good. Yeah. Gotta step up smoother. I have to drive these for work, <laughs> but we have the three wheels. It's kind of annoying that we have to wait for them to get off. Makes me miss Gil. <laughs> See, the good thing is, is when you come here and if you don't have any Segway experience, they will take you, they'll walk you through it, they'll train you and everything, make sure you're good to go. Thankfully, they are a little bit nicer and kinder to those of us that already know what we're doing and they just kind of let us go. Hey, stay away from me. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. Look at it. First time, he got it in about one minute, two minutes maybe. But yeah, that's one of the greatest things about Segways is that they're super easy to drive. You don't really have to worry about them as much. As long as you have a good trainer and you listen to what they're telling you, in about a couple minutes, you'll be a professional. Maybe getting on, getting off is probably the most dangerous thing that you have to worry about, which in this case, they're not actually letting us do that on our own. So that is what it is. But that's cool. So that means for those of you who are really new, you don't have to worry about getting on and off because they will be there to guide you, help you get off. But yeah, basically the way it works is you use your toes or you use your heels and you just kind of lean forward, you lean back and you, that's just kind of how it goes. And you just push the stick one way or another and that's how we turn. Simple stuff. If you've ever ridden a Segway before, you know how easy it is. And if you've never ridden one before, you should try it. It's definitely worth it. It's a lot of fun. I always enjoy it every time we do it. Hopefully, Costa Maya. A lot of people like to come to Costa Maya and do the golf carts, which is cool. Golf carts are cool, but I think Segways are a little bit more fun, a little bit more independent, and uh, different. They're different. They're a little different than a golf cart, obviously. They're a lot different than a golf cart. So, they're definitely worth a try. Give it a shot.
All right, looks like everyone's good to go, so we're gonna start heading out, finally. <laughs> I could feel it in the motor, but it is what it is. This thing get used every day, or not every day, but every port day, so. All righty. We've lined up, and supposedly we're good to go. See, you could do a segue, or your whole family can do a, go a golf cart. It's 11.47, so that was about an hour. That felt not that long. That That's kind of crazy to think about that. Tour started at 10.30, 11.47, and we're finally riding away. Here's just a beautiful look at the beach as we pass by. It's uh, got a lot of seaweed today, so it does smell of the sea, that is. Um, I don't think that's a beach that I really want to go in. All right, so we made it to our first port, my first port, we made it to our first stop, which is just uh, on the beach, just 10 minutes to get some shopping done to relax. We've been hanging out on the swings, which I think is a nice chill spot to go, but 10 minutes goes by fast. Some people got snacks, some people bought things to take home. Uh, we didn't buy anything because we're cheap. And uh, we just spent time talking with our guide, Edgar, I believe his name is. I will have to correct myself if it's wrong. But we are just chatting with them, seeing what life is like. And you know, the crazy thing about Port, uh, Puerto Costa Maya is that it's actually not that big of a town or a place. Like the population is only about 2,000 people and everyone comes in for the cruise ship days for when tourism is busy. So they stay for a few days when ships are here and then they all leave. So realistically, only 2,000 locals live in the city, which is kind of crazy to think about. It's a nice, calm area, but it is a tourist spot, so. Um, it does get busy at times, especially when there's four ships. There can be four ships here in this port. This is the second busiest port in Mexico, I believe. Yeah. So, Cozumel, which will be tomorrow, that's the busiest. This is the second busiest with four possible ships and massive ships too. The Jubilees in port, Icon's been here, and definitely any of the other Oasis class ships. And, and since, Icon's, since Icon's the biggest, any other ship below that can fit here, and they put them all the put four massive ships in here if they have to and they will during the busier seasons in winter so that's kind of crazy to think about but for now let's get back on to the segways and let's take off and uh, see where we go next we're back out on the road again this time around dad and i have gotten the back so uh i think my mic disconnected so i'm sorry if the uh, audio suddenly got worse but uh we'll, we'll make it work apologies a little more freedom for me to slow down and then just kick it into high gear and then slow down again and then kick it into high gear like this and then slow down because the rest of the pack slows down hey there's a lot of people there's 15 people in this group they can do a maximum of 28 people which is crazy to think about the tour that, that i love in ensenada is only four so you and your family and that's about it no one else one guide you can kind of play around a little bit more to me it's better, so that way you can get more people into the group and more people going. It is kind of an unfortunate thing when it's only you and a few other people. Like that just means there's so many, like that means not everyone can get it done, which kind of sucks. So more people can do the segways here in Costa Maya, so I'm a big fan, especially since there are four ships that can be here in port. Especially since we are on the Jubilee, which is 6,000 people, you know? You gotta get people where you can. That's your warning to be careful when you ride a Segway. Though I didn't quite see, how do you get taken out? All right, so that was just a quick photo stop. Got one with the ships, got one with the sign. Pretty easy stuff. It's not really that long of, they're really not too long of stops, which is fine, because I'd rather just focus on the Segway, but then after when we're done with the Segway, because it's our last stop, we're gonna go and then just, just spend time at the beach, out of the Segways in regular in regular clothes, not having to wear all this. One last time. 
And like that, yep. it's all yeah, done. All done. No more. Take this bull. <laughs> we'll chat more when we get back to the ship. Though, onto the beach now. Alrighty, we made it to our place. This is where we're hanging out for the next 30 or so minutes. All the time that we get depends on how long it takes us to get through the Segway tour. And it took us a little bit, so that's why we have a little bit of time. Not as much time as we possibly could have. How was it, Dad? It was okay. Yep, I survived. We made it home. It's well, a little hot. Made it to the beach. We made it to the beach. The beach. Again, sorry, my microphone. I think it disconnected, so that's unfortunate. Hey, here. It's not working. There, unless it is. I don't think it's working. Disconnect. We'll reconnect it. I guess now. I'll be working on it. While we try and get chips and salsa. Alrighty, we got some chips and salsa. Well, and guac too. Boom. Why? Because it was quick and because, I don't know, every time I'm at the beach, that's kind of something I like now. I like getting chips, I like getting salsa and guac. Salt. It's honestly kind of life. I don't know when I started like going to the beach and just eating chips, but it became a thing for me, and it's pretty good here. Unfortunately, we don't actually have the time to actually enjoy what we're eating here, but it's okay. Chips, you can go. I can nail these in about five minutes. We have ten minutes, so. And like that, it's gone. All done. Now it's time to go. That was a great snack, done in under 10 minutes, but worth it. But now it's time to head back to the port and get home. And like that, the tour is done. We're home in the port. We're going to spend a few minutes. We're going to walk around and see what we can see here in Costa Maya because this port is actually done up just a little bit, so you can spend time here just like we spent time yesterday in the port. We didn't leave anywhere. Today, you can do the same thing in Costa Maya here. Uh, but we really wanted to do the Segway tours and we'll talk about that we'll do a little full review when we get back aboard But for now, let's explore Yeah, the good thing is the golf carts are here. You can rent them out. They're gonna be $80 a day So you can rent out the golf carts right over there And then here they are you can rent them out for $80 a day So when you come here, you can fit up to four people or six people on some of them I'm not sure if there's a difference in price, but hey, they're a great option. I've done it before check out that video if you haven't seen it already then over here we have just a little sandy area for you to kick back and relax by the pool, which I think is really cool. They even have a flow rider, which I assume is going to cost extra, which is totally fine, but crazy. So if you're not on a Royal Caribbean cruise, you can pay and you can go ride the flow rider here in port. I didn't know that was a thing. That's got to be new or I'm just blind. But then anyways, here's a look at the pool. It's a nice small pool. It's free to use. Anyone can come here and enjoy their time here. And there's a swim up bar. Cool. So while there may not be beach access, there is definitely pool access or water access. So you can spend time in the sun, don't have to go too far, which is nice. Then of course, as we walk back further to the ship, there's gonna be plenty of shops for you to go and get souvenirs. Just your basic standard port shopping. There's a good amount of it here though, for sure. Then one of the things they have here is dolphin discovery. So if you want to do the swim with dolphin experiences, they got it here for you. Don't gotta even go anywhere. If you were to have booked it through the cruise line, it would be here. So you could book it through the cruise line or book it here last minute. I'm not sure about pricing, but take a look. Then we come out to another pool experience, which is a little bit more crowded than the other one. A lot more going on, but the thing is they force you to walk around all this stuff. So trying to get through is a bit of a nightmare. zigzag, snake, all the way through all the shops, and pools, and bars, and restaurants. Uh, we got a brief moment to look at the, the sun flyers, which is really cool. And now I think it's just time to get back aboard. So let's go. All right, so we made it back from Costa Maya. We're back aboard the Jubilee, home sweet home. I just really wanted to talk about Costa Maya and our excursion. Give a recap, is it worth it, is it not? Well, first of all, it was $90 a person to do the excursion, which is a little pricey for a Segway tour, but it wasn't at the same time. It was a three hour tour, but only about an hour of it was actually on the Segways. The rest of the time was transportation to and from. We spent a little time on the beach, and then also we had to spend a lot of time for those who needed to learn how to actually ride the 
Segway. So if you've never driven a Segway before, this is your first time, I absolutely recommend doing it. This is a great way to start. They're very careful. They're very meticulous on making sure that you get it down. They're there every step of the way when you get on, when you get off, everything. Little more annoying for me who has done it before, who doesn't necessarily need the babysitting, no offense. But when you do a Segway, you'll find that they're really easy. And after a few goes, you're gonna be a professional that you don't really need that hand holding like they are doing. It's good for when you start, but as you get better at it, it just feels like you're getting restricted, which is how dad and I felt. We've done quite a few Segway tours, not just on the channel, but other times we have we have lots of experience with the Segway, so we don't necessarily need that hand holding. But if you've never done it before, you don't have to worry because you're gonna be in great hands. Totally safe. One person did fall, but that was, they were okay in the end of it. They make you wear knee pads, elbow pads, and a helmet, so you're good to go. Thankfully, nothing too crazy. The guy got back on it right after and was totally fine. So good for first timers, maybe not so great for those who are more intermediate or advanced. Maybe look for a different tour or skip this one. But then overall, then the, the beach portion wasn't exactly the best beach because it's Segway and beach. It wasn't a very beachy beach. It was just one little restaurant that we went to and got dropped off of and we were spent 20 minutes. We could have spent longer had we finished the Segway tour faster, but it didn't seem like it's something that we really wanted to spend too much time in anyways. Sorry, I'll go ahead and hold and let you pass. We want to be on there too. Oh, you keep be in there too. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah. So the beach portion of it, I could have done without it. I really didn't need it. I would have spent. More, I would have preferred more time on the Segway, but I get it. It's a Segway beach experience. The only thing, looking at it overall, I wish there was more of an advanced experience than just something for people who have never done it before. Like if you'd ridden one before, you kind of know how it goes, and just go for that tour, and you get more time to actually drive around because there's plenty of pathways that we could have gone and really gone and had some fun exploring, but we really didn't get to do that. ATVs look like maybe it's gonna be a better option. We'll have to try that next time we come back to Costa Maya. But anyways, overall, would I do it again? I don't think I would, but I do recommend it. If you've never done it before, if you've never ridden a Segway, that's a great first experience. You can't go wrong with it. Costa Maya got you handled. You have to book it through the cruise line because there's no other option. They're contracted directly with them. That's the only way you can do Segways in Costa Maya. You can't do it private. You can't do any of that nonsense. You have to go directly through. So that's my two cents on it. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I think that's what we're gonna call it today. I'm gonna take the rest of the day off to enjoy the time aboard the Jubilee and to work on some other content. So thank you so much for watching. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see ya real soon.